What's up, y'all? So in this video, we are gonna go over Schlage Residential Recan, and I'm gonna cheat a little bit because the bulk of the video is on Recan, one of these BE365, simply because it is the hardest one of them to access to rekey, but we do have another one here that I have to take apart in rekey, so I'll go ahead and show it as well. These are much easier because there's direct access to the cylinder, literally, when you take it out of the boxes. We'll see the cylinder's right there. You just use a cap tool or a pair of tweezers and unscrew the cap and rekey it. However, the BE365s do require removing a bunch of screws that hold it together and it may seem a little scary, but it's not too bad. So I'm actually gonna cheat in this video because I had done this video last year. As you'll note in the video, I say something about season three, episode like 30 or 40. And that means that it was literally last year sometime in the fall. So I never released that video, but now would be a good time because I don't, I don't wanna take another one apart to, to show you and I've already done it once. So let's just watch that video and then afterward, uh, we'll just, we'll show you, you know, it's just direct access, but honestly, that one's the, the biggest quote, pain in the butt to get apart just because of all the dang screws that you gotta unscrew. So here we go. So we talked about this guy in Saturday Morning Live, season three, episode 18. This was uh, taken off of somebody's house because they just did not want it at all. Uh, and it is in great condition, it is like new. We see a little bit something unusual there. That is actually a wiser keyway. I've done a video on using uh, wiser plugs. Schlage makes a wiser plug, and, and I'll put the link to the video up here. I've done a video on it, uh, and you can switch it out to make Schlage locks work with wiser keyway. Of course, it adds to the cost. Plugs are a little bit hard to get. Now, with these, they are not going to be able to accept a six pin high security cylinder, whatever it is, it's six pin. It's gotta be five pin. It, it, it would it would work, except there's just not enough room for a six pin because you know six pin cylinders are a little bit longer. With these, whenever you're working on BE, I think it's the B365 deadbolt. Been, been around for a long time. It was kind of one of the best, uh, just plain old push button locks that you could kind of put on a door. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it back to a Schlage with a plug that I've got sitting around here somewhere uh, and then change the programming code. So with these, the programming code is on the original directions and on the back of the lock. When you hard reset a lock to go back to factory, uh, factory, you know, no factory numbers and everything, if that programming code has changed and the sticker was removed from the door, or from the inside of the lock it's it's like right a little yellow sticker right there there if you remove that sticker and don't have access to the original programming code at all when you reset the lock back to factory settings you still don't know the code so it does you no good it, it makes the lock pretty much null and void so with this again you need the phillips screwdriver to take it on and off the door to take it apart to rekey it like we're going to be kind of doing here you have to have a T15, a T15 driver. And I actually have a dedicated one of those somewhere. So let me go grab the plug real quick and we will take a look at this guy. Okay, got a plug. These plug and housing, really, I just need the plug part of it. And uh, we are gonna take this guy apart. Let's pretend like it's on the door here. So we're gonna get our Phillips driver. And I pretty much just screwed this back together on site. So that none of the screws would get lost. Uh, we're going to get rid of that guy. It's probably dead. Uh, and then you have the other two screws. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. I'm assuming this guy works okay. I don't know for sure. Yep. And then make sure you feed your wire through. None of the wires look. Depends whenever you're taking these guys apart to rekey them. You want to check to make sure because if this light gets stuck right here and somebody puts the cap on it can easily tear up the wires there and you do not want that so our deadbolt looks perfectly good and then we have the six screws that we have to take off so i'm going to probably speed up through that because it's just unscrewing screws and here's my dedicated driver it was in my back pocket oh craftsman dedicated driver i highly suggest you just get a dedicated driver for these guys 
So uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, take all these screws out real quick. Got the screws out and whenever I take these apart, I'll put it between two equal things. I'll show you why. When you take it, when you're out rekeying these, right? We're just gonna use quick set boxes here to do this. Uh, when you get those screws out, you wanna carefully lift, all right? You wanna carefully lift this straight up. Don't rotate the dial or anything. And, and this is just if you're rekeying, you know, you, you can rotate the dial all you want if you really want to, but I would suggest you not do that. So we're gonna lift this straight off. All right. And we're not gonna mess with any of that. We're just gonna set this aside. We're gonna leave that in the same position. If I turn this right now, see, if I turn it, what hop, what'll happen is the timing will get off. So I don't wanna turn it, I wanna leave it kind of just like it was. I'm gonna set this down. And then what I'll do, if you put this down, it's just gonna pop up, all right? And there's this little rubber seal. I don't wanna do that. So I just wanna kind of put this between something kind of like, kind of like that. And, and, and it's good. Uh, once we're there, we can go ahead and just yank this guy out. And we see we have the typical little black deal, little post, little washer, and, and all that. And now the reason why we can't use a six pin is because that would, that would stick out too far. You might be able to say, well, maybe you could do this or that. Not really, unfortunately, because it'll stick out. You could, you know, maybe you could like trim the trim the tailpiece and, and do something. I don't know, maybe. No, no matter what, because this guy has to intersect with that. If we tried using a, five, a six pin cylinder for it, it would just stick up way too far. Let me grab one. If we took this out and put this in, uh, it would just, it would stick out. Too far, everything would be pushed higher and I don't think, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. Pretty sure it's not gonna work. I've never tried it. Should we try it? I mean, we can. We can give it a try. We're gonna take those guys off. And then we have this that we need to take off. A pair of tweezers. And uh, go ahead and take this apart. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Why, why not? We'll give it a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump out all this shim this cylinder and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the uh the cylinder period right with this one and just put that same same thing in there so uh, no big deal switching it out but while we're here let's let's just go ahead and and give it a shot i'm pretty sure it's not going to work but it doesn't hurt to try all right i've just got this six pin wrestling cylinder Let's see what happens. Let us see. We need the cap. We need this. Let's see that. Let's see what happens. On there, what are you doing? I'm sure several of you have tried this before. They're saying, Stop wasting your time, but hey, all right. So then we have our uh, then we have our little doodad here, yep, there, and there, back together. So, considerably longer. Probably isn't gonna work because it's gonna stick up too far, but let's just see. I'm gonna turn that. So, 
that's that's kind of what I expected to happen there. It just sticks up too far. So we are a no go on that, as expected. Never know till you try, right? Let's see what's going on here. So what happens is because it's short, when you push in on the cylinder, it lets this engage with that. And since it's too long, it's just not letting it engage. You know, we could take the key and turn it maybe and get it to get it to go into that position, but it will always be in the unlocked position, right? When we try to when we try to turn it back, it's so long that it won't and, and this is a this is keyed up to a, a blank key. That's why the key is coming out. But see it won't let me turn it back into the position to be able to remove the key so as i expected she's not gonna happen but we are still gonna key it up so let's go ahead and take this all off once again and uh take this guy off and let me go key up my cylinder real quick and we'll put it in and put it back together we have discovered what i expected what i knew what i knew i knew that was gonna happen not saying I knew it was going to happen, but I knew it was going to happen, y'all. Okay, let's get this guy off. And, uh, and put him back together for future use. Get this and uh, go key it up real quick. So there we go. Drop that guy in there. And once again, we're just going to drop this. So uh, we did rotate it a little bit. So let me fix it. We're going to drop that straight down. Just like that. See, it fits perfect. Move this out of the way. And uh, and then put the... Uh, I got me a new new wiser thing. I can sell that for 15 bucks. All right, I'm going to put these screws back in. check this i just hope the electronics portion works now <laughs> and i'm gonna slip this back together Oop, we need the latch no wi-fi connection you always need to watch this when you're putting it back on all right so when we put it in a term retract that bolt line cam down yep that's right just like that and then you feed the uh, wire through this hole right here, just like that. I'm gonna put a fresh battery in. I don't know how old that battery is. And, uh, come on. What are you doing? There we go. There we go, and uh, just temporarily, I'm not going to screw it all the way in, just enough to hold the screws, and we are good. Okay, come off. Everything seems good. Not connected to the internet, not voice activated or none of that, it's just a plain old push button push button lock no auto relock or anything so that's it that answered one question as far as being able to use a six pin cylinder no you cannot no you cannot it is not made to do that you do have to be stuck with a five pin cylinder but that's just par for the course i didn't really show like taking that off of a door and putting it on uh but it's pretty i mean these are made 
uh, for the DIY market. So, you know, if, if you're, you're a locksmith watching this and it goes together like a Schlage deadbolt would, just got a fancy number pad on the front of it. So we're gonna take this guy out. This is a connect. It required, because the encode is still not available uh, and people are getting desperate, so they're buying these things. So, yeah, I mean, it's, this is just like a regular old slug deadbolt. And like I said, it's just got the fancy trim. So honestly, you just take it out, just like that, and, uh, and unscrew the cap right there. So when you're putting it on the door, you just have to be cognizant that the wire goes in the right spot, that the tailpiece is turned right. I had said in previous videos to extend the bolt, but one big thing that uh, electronic, whenever you're dealing with electronic, they never want you to extend the bolt, I guess because normal people are not gonna be doing that. So they made them that way so that you do not, a lot of them have a sticker across the face saying, do not extend the bolt. And if you look at the directions, it probably says that too. So you just have to make sure when you're putting this on the door, to route it correctly. This one requires a, a bridge or a hub to, uh, I'm gonna leave it out because I do have to rekey this one. So let's get the keys out. I'm curious as to whether this has the security strike it does. So this one does still come with the security strike. I've been seeing them taking away those on a lot of deadbolts. And uh, so it's still there for sure, that's good. And it always just came with the one key. So we actually have to, I don't have room on my counter over here to, to put this, but I do have to rekey it. So I'm gonna leave it out. That's, that's how you take it apart. Just boop, you know, cap screw, unscrew. And then it's just a regular deadbolt. In fact, if you're scared of it, you can just, you can just unscrew the cylinder. You know, I, I would recommend this if you're at the door, tug it off the door and just, just unscrew the cylinder. You know, that way you don't, you're not carrying this to your truck and something could happen to it. So just, Unscrew it and it's just a regular cylinder. I believe it does. Some of the earlier, some of the versions does have a little spacer that goes over it. You just have to be cognizant if it's there to make sure and put it back. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And really that's all there is to the video. I mean, I guess in theory, I could put it on our prep over here, but I don't want to. You just, it's, it's pretty easy to figure out. Thanks for watching y'all. We'll catch you next video. I totally cheated on this video, didn't I? <laughs> in fact, I'm cheating so much. I am going to mention the fact that, you know, we went over putting in the six pin cylinder in the BE 365s, but I've already done a video on the connect and whether it will take a six pin cylinder. Yes, it will. In case you're wondering, cause I didn't cover it in this cheating video, but yes, you can't in the 365 because it requires that five pin cylinder in these. However, because they are built like your standard deadbolt, yes, you can switch out with a six pin cylinder. It won't, won't hurt nothing. So if you want to put a rust one GMS or LSDA in there, you just have to use that tailpiece because it's got that little hump in the tailpiece. So literally just unscrew tailpieces, switch them around, make sure your pin matches your cap and you're good to go. Totally cheated, totally cheated.